As the chairman of the House Committee, which deals with insurance mandates, Representative Ron Peterson has written a bill to structure how they would be considered by the legislature. According to Peterson, many other states require a vetting process before putting insurance mandates into place. I researched it and found out that actually a majority of states do have uh, a review process for these mandates, and I thought that's something that Oklahoma should take a look at. Under his measure, House Bill 3111, mandates could be introduced in odd number years. An actuarial study performed on the mandate during the interim and can be voted on by the legislature in the following even numbered year. Peterson says it gives lawmakers time to look at the financial impact the mandate might have. And get to some harder numbers and, and address the needs out there and just get a more comprehensive approach of what the problems are, uh, what the market's like, and what the costs could conceivably be. A Democratic member of Peterson's committee feels taking a measured approach isn't a bad thing allow everybody to take a deep breath to make sure that things are proper and that's not always a bad thing uh, of course if you ever get into a pinch it will be a bad thing Kerry says slowing things down could make for better legislation and uh, you're really behind the learning curve when you get here to begin with and so especially for newer members and myself still as well anytime you can have as much time possible to analyze the situation I think you make better decisions Senator J. Paul Gum has introduced a bill to mandate coverage of autism. And if Peterson's bill was law now, and, and Gum's bill would be subject to it. And I think the other purpose of it would be to take the decision out of the hands of lawmakers where they can say, well, the actuary is going to come in and say this will do such and such, and we just can't do that. I think it's important that we as elected officials take the responsibility to make these policy decisions and not shuffle them off to somebody else. Gum argues that delaying mandates will keep kids from getting treatment when it's most effective. How many more children do we lose to autism? How many children would not have access to the early diagnosis and treatment that can make a difference while we step back and back off and let some actuary uh, make a decision for us? I think it's bad public policy. There are an estimated two dozen bills this session that would put new mandated coverage requirements on insurance companies. The bill to stop all of that recently cleared a House committee and is headed to the House floor for consideration. From the state capitol, Jason Doyle, The Oklahoma News Report.